Hi everyone, I'm Daniela and welcome back to Black Cat Kitchen. Today we're making a weird food name recipe, Fly Cemetery. It sounds strange, I know, but it's actually a delicious Scottish fruit slice. It's a delicious mix of currants and raisins that have been highly seasoned, sandwiched between two layers of super buttery pastry. Enough talking about it, let's jump into the recipe. You'll find a list of ingredients and measurements in the description below. We're going to grate 150 grams or two thirds of a cup of very cold or frozen butter. Grating the butter allows the pastry to come together really quickly. This makes sure you have a nice texture when you bite into it. In goes 300 grams or one and three quarter cups plus two tablespoons of plain or all purpose flour. Normally for pastry, I'd use pastry flour, but in this recipe, it just makes the pastry a little too tender. We're going to rub the flour and the butter together with our fingertips. You'll want it to resemble wet sand. Once the flour and butter holds together when you squeeze it in your hands, like this, but crumbles apart is when you know it's ready to add the water. I'm starting with two tablespoons of very cold water. I have a few ice cubes in here. We'll gradually add the water until our dough is formed. You don't want to overwork this pastry, so when you find it's absorbed the water, add a little bit more. Once your pastry mostly holds together and there's only a few little scraggly bits in the bottom of the bowl, it's ready. Let this chill in the fridge for about 30 minutes. I like to flatten my pastry into a rectangle once it's in the cling film, which allows it to roll out easier when we take it out of the fridge or freezer. This also helps it chill quicker. If you want your raisins and currants to be a little bit more plump, you can steep them in a cup of boiling water while the pastry chills. If you're using this method, make sure to drain the water and add a tablespoon of corn flour or cornstarch to the raisins when we season them. This is the best way to avoid a soggy bottom. While they're chilling, we'll make our filling. Into a bowl goes 400 grams of dried fruit. I'm using 200 grams of raisins and 200 grams of currants. You can see why it's called Fly Cemetery. <laughs> they look like little dead flies. To our raisins goes 100 grams, about half a cup of brown sugar and three teaspoons of mixed spice. Give that a good stir until it's all combined. In goes 50 grams of melted butter and a few glugs of Scottish whiskey. I would say about two teaspoons. You'll want to stir that so it's all coated and there's no little bits of brown sugar left in the bowl. Now is a great time to preheat your oven. We want it at 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll want to be precise in using a 30 by 20 centimeter pan for this recipe. Any bigger and you'll have to up your pastry measurements. I've lined my pan with a piece of parchment to allow for easy removal of the slice when they're baked. Time to roll out our pastry. Lightly dust your surface and then roll your pastry out so it's slightly larger than your prepared pan. If there's any bits of your pastry that break apart, just squish them back together. You're going to roll this fairly thin so that it covers the bottom of the pan. I like to keep turning my pastry so it doesn't stick to my work surface. And the best way to measure is by putting the pan on top of the pastry. You'll want it to just come over the edges of the pan so that it folds up a little bit and encases all of those raisins. Carefully transfer your pastry into the bottom of the pan. You'll want to press the sides of the pastry up the side of your dish. If you've got any cracks or crevices, just squish them together. This is what your pastry should look like in your pan. Roll out your top layer before adding your filling. You want this piece to be slightly smaller so that it fits perfectly inside your pan. The pastry should be nice and thin so that it crisps up to hold in all of that filling. And just a quick check to make sure it's the right size. Now to dump our flies into their pastry grave, spread them all around so there's a nice even layer across the bottom. Make sure to get them into every corner. Now on goes our top layer of pastry. And we're just going to crimp the top pieces to the bottom pieces of the pastry. Make sure you get all of the edges so that there's a nice tight seal and then press firmly down on the top of the pastry. This is going to create steam while it bakes. So I'm going to put a few cuts in the top of our pastry. I like to cut exactly where I'm going to be cutting my slices. Now these go into the oven for about 45 minutes, but we're going to start checking at the 35 minute mark to check for any browning. And as soon as they come out of the oven, we're going to sprinkle them with caster sugar. The heat from the slices will help melt that caster sugar so that it really sticks. This is why I use parchment paper. 
Now cut your slices where you made your slits earlier. This preserves the beautiful top of the pastry. Thank you all so much for watching. Please be sure to like this video. And if you're looking for another strangely named food, check out my eggs in purgatory. And be sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments what's the weirdest food name you've ever heard. See you in the next video.